Carthage must be destroyed. Tonight, I've been painting, I've been fixing and touching up some Romans that went through a uh, tough time. I have a story for you next time I do the Hail Caesar walkthrough videos, but uh, I haven't done them for a while because a terrible thing happened. I'll share uh, the uh, story about it later. But what I want to look at today is this unboxing of this German SDKFZ 10 DMAG. I'm not going to bother pronouncing the German full name, the Sonderkraft something. I can't remember the names. My German is poor. Despite growing up with German in the household, I'm not good with it. But we are going to open this today. It is a half-track light toe that the Germans used in World War II. I think it was predominantly the Germans who used it. The Romanians according to Wikipedia, used it. I'm going to be using it for my Italians in the desert. I don't know if they used it historically, but I don't care. This little half-track uh, toe that towed around guns and stuff like that, um, it is, uh, I, li I like the aesthetic of it. And so even though I don't have any German forces whatsoever, I just need a toe for my Italian forces, so I am going to put that in there and say that Rommel left it behind for the Italians or something like that. So we're going to open this up and check it out. It's a brand new, it was recently uh, released by Warlord, so it's a very new model. I got it when it was on, on pre-order. I love their boxes when they do this kind of new stuff. They have like this uh, World War II uh, case, this effect going on here. So let's just open this up and take a look at this probably resin and move all over the place of the camera. I'm trying to keep it focused as I open here, but we're going to look at this vehicle here. I like Warlord's resin vehicles because they're easy to put together. You know, it's not a lot of maintenance on them. Just shave off a few excess pieces and um, start gluing on the metal with super glue. I always wash my models and stuff first. Uh, every, every vehicle here, you can see, comes with the, uh, I call it the damage counters, but it's kind of smoke and fire. So when your vehicle explodes or dies, you can put these little things on them. It's basically, I think it's some sort of string and cotton and stuff. Almost every one of Warlord's resin vehicles comes with it. The plastic ones probably do too. You do pretty good for one hand today. Eh? So, we open this here. I saw the decals already. This won't be a very big vehicle because it is just a tow. And this is what I mean about Warlord's resin. I just like how they got a bit of a dirty table there <laughs> from painting just recently. But I, I like how it's just one single piece. The main bit of it is resin. And um, the casting is very nice. This is very new, so I'm expecting it to be in really good shape compared to some of the Italian tanks I've done. You can see at the bottom where kind of the mold ends are or wherever they've stuck it in. you got to do a little bit of work on it, but that's fine. Otherwise, a smooth casting, a bit of cleaning up, and it'll be great. I just like it. It doesn't even have wheels or track on it yet. No, I'm just loving it already. The tracks are cast in resin, which is good. Take a look at those. You're going to have the left side, the right side. And those will just pop on the back. And you can see here, it's easy. They just got the flat end. Hey, am I doing it right? No, it's probably this way. Because you want the flat end like so, so it can sit on the uh, surface. So you're just going to glue it right up against there and put them on either side. And you got most of the vehicles done and ready and i hope the wheels aren't metal they probably are but this thing i don't think i can do with one hand so i'm going to just open it with two here okay so i have opened up that metal uh or that package full of metal rather i've opened it right up here and we're just going to look at each piece i always refer to a picture to figure out what the heck i'm putting together Unfortunately, and I don't really like metal tires, this, uh, this one here, this uh, vehicle comes with two front metal tires, which makes me consider basing this, because every time I have metal on a model and a metal sits on the bottom without a base, what happens is I end up uh, scratching the bottom. And even though the bottom isn't a big deal when you're gaming, I, I personally just hate it. So chances are this will go on a small base underneath of it. I did it with the auto blinda and the Italians too. It's all metal on the wheels. Uh, the wheels themselves, I always like to check. Apologize for my dog crying in the background. I already fed him, but he always wants to eat more. The wheels are pretty straight here. I found some of the wheels on the auto blinda are a little older and they were a bit bent out of shape. I'll just pop this off the sprue. But a bit of cleaning up here and these wheels should work fine. They look good. 
brand new casting, fairly new. Looks good. The inside might be a little bent, but that's not really a big deal. You could easily hide that when you glue it on. You get the option of putting a German um, driver in there. I won't be using the German. I might actually have, uh, may I be able to modify a Perry, uh, I have a CV30, I don't remember the name. I have a little tank from Perry Miniatures and there is a driver I didn't include in the tank. Um, and I think I'm gonna probably put him in the place of this German and put him in here instead. It'd be kind of funny looking, but whatever. Um, this is just broken wheel parts. You got the steering wheel, what looks like some hookups. So you get a whole bunch of little accessories here. Of course, you got the option to put this, uh, it, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like the weather cover. You guys can correct me if I don't remember the names right off the bat, but basically you can put the option of having a, uh, uh, the cover over top in case there's bad weather, you got something you wanna cover when it's raining, or maybe they don't want the dust in it, so you can cover over the top of the back there. We have a bunch of other pieces here. You, of course, got the windshield pieces here. In the model itself, it doesn't have any glass, so there's no need to paint it blue or anything like that. There is also some guns here. So you can put some guns up in the back of the seat there. Not sure if I'll add those in, because this is mainly going to be a tow, but we'll see. Um, there's also this round piece here, which I am going to have to figure out what it is. I don't see it on the... Uh, I don't see it here anywhere on my model here. I am seeing some pieces though here earlier that I didn't notice. Like there's a little something jetting out here. I haven't done my research but it looks like on the steering wheel that's what that was, whatever that is. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, and I mean I have to look online and check how to put some parts together. But there's some pieces like this piece here. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it goes in the back. If you look at the back of the vehicle. It looks like there might be a, a, a place to yeah, it looks like actually that, that's where that may go. It may just stick on the back there. We'll have to find out, I'll have to do some more research. Um, and then you have this, which looks like it's also some sort of rear, and the, the, the end of it, the bender or something like that. So, I mean, you can't really tell from the picture given to you. Um, oh, here we go, look at that. I just had to turn it around and there it is. So yeah, that obviously, that round piece is obviously gonna go on the back of the, the vehicle there, followed by that, uh, cover there and uh, I'm sure I can figure out where that last piece is supposed to go um, okay the jerry cans the gasoline cans are right on there so I don't have to worry about that um, but yeah there I guess it is fully built and set up I, I just like the aesthetic of this half track so I think it'll look good even if it's going to be used for Italians it's, it's just going to be a tow it's going to pull around my, uh, I got a medium howitzer I'm going to use sometimes. So that'll be good just to have something to pull the, uh, the Italian uh, artillery around. The paperwork, we always give a shout out to the people who pack this. Thank you, Rodica, for packing this so nicely. There's nothing damaged or broken in here. It looks awesome. Thank you. Of course, we've got some uh, the, the address where you can check out Warlord yourself. Of course, if you just Google it, you'll find it. And some decals, some nice little German decals. I have Italian ones. Maybe I can put some Italian one, uh, ones on it. I probably won't put any decals on. If I do, I might put a German one on there. Or I'll save this for my Hungarians that also use uh, some German tanks sometimes. We'll see. That is it. A quick unboxing today. Um, I'm going to go back and do my Hail Caesar walkthroughs as soon as my Romans are done. I just finished upgrading this last unit. You'll notice that uh, there's some damages on them, as I said earlier. I had to replace one guy with an Agincourt Perry infantry uh, soldier here, and he will be replaced at some point as well. But I'll get back into Hail Caesar walkthroughs very soon, as soon as I finish uh, a few more uh, pieces and work on my model uh, collection there. So I just wanted to show you guys this sweet little toe. I like it. I think it looks cool. So it'll show up in my Italian stuff. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the works for that as well. World War II Italians and ancient Roman Italians. So that is all I want to talk about today. Let me know what you think about this cool little vehicle and I'll probably have it assembled up sometime in the near future and you can all see how it is in my gaming. So thank you all for watching. If you like this kind of content, want to see more battle reports and more unboxings and the like, please like, subscribe and we will see you next time. Again, sorry for the dog who is constantly crying for food in the background, even though I've fed him three times as much as normal. Oh well.
Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.